Well, you know, in such a moment, there is no time to waste. I'm sorry, my friend, for this. Oh, he's not feeling very well. He's surrounded by him. Oh, I was married. Looks like they are starting. No, it's Shall better we sit if I down? Stand. <coughs> sure. This, way I this is really delightful. <laughs> Miss Tatiana, yes, are you comfortable there? Thank you. Oh, Count Oblensky is still not feeling well. A pity. They are starting. <laughs> Welcome back to the Last Express. Here we are among the elite on the train, listening to Anna and Kronos play César Franck's famous Sonata in A Major for violin and piano. But what we're really doing is waiting for Kahina to leave the concert to search Anna Wolf's room for the Firebird. Kahina goes. It doesn't actually um, pay to wait around for her um, to finish with Anna's room, so we'll just go right now. Pardon me. Okay, there's Kahina leaving Anna's room. Now we have to enter Sophie and Rebecca's room and then use the window to get into Anna's. In this hat box, we find a hat. Yeah. We're about 20 minutes into the concert. Looking at Anna's jewelry, uh, there's nothing much to see here. And I don't know what's up with this perfume. Uh, we can take the cap off it, but I don't think there's anything else we can do with it. In her huge trunk, we see five drawers. And in the bottom one, we find this letter. It says, Madame, I write to you with respect to our discussions of Monday last, of which our friend in Vienna has been informed. We have for some time been aware of Herr Schmidt's activities as a supplier of arms to the Balkan powers. Although his dealings, insofar as they are not inconsistent with our own objectives in the region, have not hitherto aroused our official interest, the present situation is a different matter. Herr Schmidt's client is a Serbian army general with ties to the Black Hand. 
this subversive organization whose aim is to detach the Bosnian territory from the monarchy has committed numerous murders and atrocities, including the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand, June 28th at Sarajevo. The possibility that Herr Schmidt is now supplying this group with advanced weaponry is therefore of concern to His Majesty. Herr Schmidt is to leave Paris July 24th on the Orient Express. We believe he will complete the final arrangements for his affair. During the course of that journey, we do not know the identity of his contact, nor the time and place of the meeting. We wish to know the date of delivery and the precise nature and quantity of the materials to be supplied, in particular if the arms are to be transported through Austrian territory. We would like to know uh, how this was arranged and if Austrian officials are involved. As always, we trust you, Madame, to act with the most absolute discretion in this affair and to honor the confidence which His Majesty's Imperial Government has placed in you in the assurance of our warm regard and highest esteem for your abilities, I remain your respectful servant, G. And the rest of these drawers have nothing of interest. In the hidden compartment of this box is a key. And yes, it is the master key. It will open almost any of the doors in the train. This photo of Anna uh, seems to be with someone who looks like he or she is in the military. I can't really tell the gender. Now remember that our goal is to find the gold for Schmidt and also to find the Firebird. And one way of doing this is right now, while these two attendants discuss the war, to use the master key to open Tatiana's room. Well, the Firebird is not in her case, so where the hell is it? The bed in here cannot be open, but there is the bathroom. And there it is. Has my grandfather? He has been quiet, mademoiselle. I looked in about an hour ago. He was sleeping. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, mademoiselle. In the background, we hear Tatiana asking after Vasily. Ah, так это вы мне приснились. Не берите. Может быть, она у вас запоет. And Vasily seems okay with us taking the egg. Just a minute. How did you get in there? Shh. Monsieur Oblinsky is asleep. He mustn't be disturbed. Yes, monsieur. Now we have to stash this somewhere, but unfortunately, yeah, the conductor is at his station now. So we actually have to put the egg back in our room for the time being. We can't just carry it around with us for now. And, um, and then we'll, we'll manage the other task we set out for today, which is to find Cronus's gold. And the only way to get behind Kronos and Kahina is to step out onto the top of the train and walk back toward their car. And there, Kath will smash the stained glass windows and leap inside. Notice this magnifying glass icon on this mural. We'll get back to that. On the nightstand is a very interesting folder of documents. Um, this is a report from a detective about Tyler and Kath, who Kronos has paid 
uh, this detective to investigate. And here it says Tyler was staying at a boarding house which was frequented by Serbs and that Tyler was looking for Kath at his apartment, but he gave up and went home. It says that Kath is a wanted man. It says Tyler received an antique scroll from Monsieur Coppelia, uh, who then died mysteriously the same day. And then Tyler met with a British man named Perlmutter, and they had some kind of argument, and then Tyler got on the train. This is a letter from Perlmutter to Kronos, saying that Tyler was trying to sell a relic in the shape of an egg in Paris, and that Perlmutter is willing to buy it on Kronos's behalf, and that he met with Tyler, but Tyler was really acting suspiciously and nervous and, and paranoid. And finally, Tyler proposed to meet the buyer directly, Kronos, on the Orient Express. And we have made quite a mess. Clicking the magnifying glass, we see a button, and pressing that reveals a super secret nook, which holds a suitcase, which has a fortune in gold. And we'll just be taking that with us. And I'll try to go out the way we came, but Kath isn't able to get out of the top of the train car with the case. It's just too high for him. So, let's go back and get the case again. And now, well, we just have to walk out. No going back now. Kronos and Kahina are powerless to respond in this large crowded room, so that leaves us free to just go out and stash this suitcase, which we will do in our room. Now as we do that, we can hear the train conductor uh, starting to make his announcement for this stop, which means that uh, we have a, a opportunity to get to the front of the train now. So let's grab the egg. And we hear Max barking as we near the front of the train. And there he is. Be free. And here, we can stash the egg. And this is the one place on the train, I believe, that Kahina will not find the egg. This is the only place we can hide it. Now, one other thing I'd like to do is get into Schmidt's room, because why not? Excusez-moi, monsieur. We see Max in the hall trying to find Anna. Sorry, bud. Now the attendant is preventing us from going into Schmidt's room, but if we go into our room and press this call button, he will come to our room, which really makes no sense because he can clearly see us out here in the hall. Anyway. See that Herr Schmidt carries a revolver hidden in his cigar case.
My dear Baron, since you have asked me to put pen to paper only if absolutely necessary, it is with the utmost discretion that I have right to inform you of a new development. Simply put, the agent in question, whom I shall not name, appears unable to pay the agreed upon sum. So Schmidt is in the middle of composing a letter to his superior as to why he is unable to sell the guns to Tyler. Namely, that he thinks that we won't actually be able to pay him. And this is a, a, a very servile letter that Schmidt is writing. He, he really fears this person or fears that the German emperor will have him killed for not doing the deal or something. I'm therefore compelled to cancel the transaction. I hope that you will consider that my decision was correct and that you will give me another chance to perform such a splendid service for our fatherland. Your loyal friend and servant, August Schmidt. Monsieur with And it's only 3:45, so we actually have quite a while to go in this segment. And no, I'm not going to leave all of this in. If we sit quietly through this concert long enough, Kath will start to drift. Why don't you make it sing? And we hear Tyler again, uh, and that reminds us that Tyler, or I guess the memory of Tyler, was trying to communicate with us that the firebird, that we have to make it sing. That's the same thing Vasily said too, make it sing. Maybe it will sing for you, he said. What the hell are they talking about? Now a couple of things that we learned while we were out. Schmidt is working for the German government on this deal. And they asked him to sell the guns. Anna Wolf works for the Austrian government, and they want her to stop the sale of the guns. But those two countries are close allies. Why are they at cross purposes? Remember, in a few days, these two countries are about to start a world war together. The biggest war the earth has ever seen. But here they are arguing about whether to sell guns to the people who just killed the Archduke. That's pretty strange, isn't it?
Wunderbar, wunderbar, voller Gold. Thank you. At 5 p.m., the concert ends. First thing I want to do after the concert is to show uh, August Schmidt the gold. Because before too long, Kronos is going to come for what we've stolen. And I doubt he's going to ask us nicely. This wool. Excuse me. Mesdames les voyageurs, le train arrivera à Vienne dans une heure. Vienne. Bonjour, madame. Conductor, would you unlock my compartment, please? Messieurs et mesdames les voyageurs, le train arrivera à Vienne dans une heure. Bonjour, monsieur. Mr. Whitney, I was wondering if you would come. Ah, yes, yes. Not so fast, Herr Schmidt. We're not in Belgrade yet. I guess this means His Excellency would like to see me. You know, he really has a way of making people feel wanted. Is this how he persuaded Miss Wolf to join him in a duet? You talk a great deal for a man who knows so little. Tell him I'll be there. So there immediately, Kahina threatens us. Fortunately, we already have the gold with us, so let's just get this out of our hands. I am disappointed. I would have gladly let you keep this gold. If only you had seen fit to bring me the other, it would have saved us so much time. Maybe. What is it you want, Mr. Whitney? Tyler Whitney is dead. I want to know who killed him and why. You are on your way to Jerusalem, are you not? How did you know that? Knowledge is more precious than gold and rarer than rubies. If knowledge is the coin in which you wish to be paid, I could tell you many things about yourself and that ring you wear, for example. But the question you ask, that question I cannot answer. Then I'll be on my way. Not yet. I'm afraid you owe me some slight favor for having helped yourself to my luggage. That scarf in his breast pocket, get it please. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I shall keep it as a souvenir until our next encounter. Uh, Kronos knows that Kath is going to Jerusalem, and even why he's going to Jerusalem, and then he wears a ring that is important somehow. He also wanted Anna's scarf from us. I wonder why he would want that so badly. Would be safe there. Don't worry. It's not your fault. Let's rewind so we can hear that conversation between Tatiana and Anna better. Bonjour, Madame. Pardon 
Pardon me. Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> My friend. It's a miracle. You have paid for our gun. Now, wait a minute. Now I understand you. You say you don't help us, but then you help. You're like a Slav. You are one of us. Yeah, okay, stop. <laughs> What is it? What's wrong? When I came back from the concert, the egg was gone. It's gone. <laughs> I thought it would be safe there. Don't worry, it's not your fault. Oh, he's so kind, but it's because of me that you have lost the egg. It was so beautiful. Why do people steal things? <laughs> now, interestingly, this scene happens no matter what because if we rewind time back to the end of the concert and we watch Kahina directly after she actually makes a beeline for Tatiana's room and now Kahina has the egg if we didn't get it earlier and the game ends here there's a game over because Kronos gets the egg and he gets off the train to Vienna anyway back in the universe where we did steal the egg and stash it in the dog kennel Kahina leaves Tatiana's room empty-handed. She still goes there. Uh, if we head back here to the front of the train, we'll find that the baggage car is open for the first time, and we will see this scene play out. I believe you have my key. Could I have it back, please? That's enough guns for the day. Tell me, when you killed Tyler, was that part of the job, or was that your own idea? I... I don't know what you mean. You don't know you work for the Austrian secret police? Or you don't know you killed Tyler? But I didn't kill him. They sent you to break up Tyler's arms deal. You killed him and you stole the gold egg he was carrying. I didn't. It wasn't me. I've never killed anyone. I swear it. I... I'd met Tyler Whitney once in New York. I recognized him at the station. Once we were moving, I came and knocked. The door was open, so I let myself in. And there was blood all over. The egg! It was sitting on the table by the window. I took it, but I didn't kill him. The first time I saw you calling yourself Tyler Whitney, I thought you killed Anna, him. Anna, look out! So this is yet another action scene, this time against Vesna. Uh, we have to dodge her knife over and over again. But this time, we aren't able to just grab her hand to end the fight. We have to wait for something else. Keine Bewegung. Let her go. Vienna. I, I have to go now. Very interesting scene all around. Anna has no real reason, I don't think, to lie to us about killing Tyler, I guess. We know that she stole the egg now, and that she wants her key back, though we still have it. She didn't get it from us. And Vesna attacked us. And that doesn't seem like she would have a reason to do that, except that she really went there uh, hoping to kill Anna, I guess. It would make sense that a Serb would try to kill an Austrian. Anyway, I still have to show Schmidt the gold in this timeline, so... Guten Tag. Nur eine gelbe Rose, bitte. Eine schöne gelbe Rose für Sie, Deutschland. Dankeschön. And it looks like I have broken the game a little bit. I still have the gold, but Kronos has departed the train. And that's not supposed to happen, at least I don't think it is. But anyway, 
and we've done what we needed to do in this episode. We found the Firebird, stashed it to make sure Kronos didn't get it, and kept Schmidt on the train to make the arms deal. But we're no closer to finding Tyler's killer, I think. But next time on The Last Express, I think we'll start to take a harder look at the Serbs and the Russian Alexei Dolnikov, because I think those revolutionaries are not what they seem. <laughs>